Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO video reaction. I am going to react to the FGO arcade uh, Tiamat and uh, the, I think uh, Mother Harlot. These two characters they have come out it has been like one or two months that they uh, were released and I, I think like Mother uh, Harlot is like a boss character. I, I wasn't able to f find any her my room lines so i think she's not a playable uh, or summonable servant she's just a boss character but tiamat is a playable character like she has been released now the reason why i'm like one or two months late at reacting to this is <laughs> is because i was depressed um about not getting tiamat now obviously like you know i know there's this whole thing people say that why like you know like fgo mobile has so many servants which arcade doesn't have so why do people get angry this and that i know there are things like that but i, I was actually not sad about the fact that like you know uh tiamat is playable in arcade i was sad about the fact that we might not get her in mobile uh since you know like fgo arcade servants are usually they you know, usually do not come in fgo mobile so the possibility of getting tiamat is nil now like i don't think we're going to get her unless and until like you know it's like jack's demo lay where they basically change her class and features and then reintroduce her as like a new class in fgo mobile then it's all okay but yeah that's why i was actually extremely sad because tiamat has been like my most anticipated servants for fgo mobile uh, i was basically waiting for her uh, from babylonia and i'm sure a lot of people have been so the possibility of not getting her is what actually saddened me so <laughs> anyways enough about that i ac actually talked about this like in one of my previous videos i think but uh, yeah like that's why you know i was depressed and everything and i was like oh, nah, i cannot i cannot watch you know <laughs> watch her in arcade at least now because i'm like you know like it, it would remind me that yeah we're not getting her in mobile so but now it's like one or two months after that i'm a lot more settled down and yeah i think i can handle it now <laughs> So that's why i'm kind of reacting to this like you know okay i'm going to do two things i'm going to first react to uh <clears throat> tiamat's my room lines and her noble phantasm as well that and then i'm going to react to mother harlot now here's the thing let me know mother harlot is a boss only character isn't she like i wasn't able to find her my room lines at all like i knew i was under the impression she was a new servant but I think she's not. I think she's like a boss only character. Let me know in the comment section, you know, because I wasn't able to find her my room lines at all. I only found, found her noble phantasm, which kind of like, you know, like I, th I think which kind of hints that, yeah, she's 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 still a boss character. Maybe in the future, she'll become a playable character. Let me know if I'm wrong. But anyways, a long introduction that was. So let's get started with uh, first with Lava Tiamat my room lines. I think this is what, the one which has English subtitles. So, yeah, let's watch it. So again, I'll be linking down all the original videos that I'm reacting to in this reaction video in the description box. I'm sure you've checked it out. If you have not, you can click on it and, you know, like go to the original video and watch it. So here we go. Um, Lava Tiamat's My Room Lines. Uh, I'm going to react to it first, then talk about it. So let's start. Okay, so, okay, so she is an alter ego. Okay, makes sense. Wow, that's a very cute. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> that's my job that Okay. Oh my god, she's so cute. <sighs> Oh my god, I'm... We were not getting her. This is making me realize again. <laughs> oh my god. I need to check out who her voice actor is. <clears throat> okay, this is Ascension Lines. Oh my god, she gets a little muffler. <laughs> Wow, that's a cute muffler. <laughs> Fashionable. <laughs> Did anything change? I think no. Why is she talking like that? 
Okay, I think this is where. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Oh, is she is she like talking like this because she's getting closer to her original version? Like her, her, her speech is broken. My god, the The way she talks Like in her original form, my god. Oh, I think she because she became closer to her original form, that's why she's sad. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Like, as she gets closer to her, like, as, as we ascend her, like, the first ascension, she's so happy and chill, and, like, here we go. Like, look at her, she's just talking normally like this, and she's so happy, and then... <laughs> I love her horns. <laughs> the horns are amazing. <laughs> look at her horns. <laughs> wow, she's very emotionally expressive in her first ascension art. Uh, ascension. What <laughs> face? <laughs> Yeah, it's been called a sundre. <laughs> okay, uh, real or apparent between two principles? Okay, I'll miss that. Wait, should I? Just a sec. Sorry about that. Let me just read that. Uh, antimony is a contradiction. Oh my god, I cannot read it. Just a sec. Oh god. Just a sec, guys. Sorry about the interruption, but I knew I want to read that. Um, contradiction, real or apparent, because two principles. Okay, antimony is a contradiction, real or apparent, between two principles or conclusions, both of which seem equally justified. Oh, antimony is a contradiction real or apparent between two principles or conclusions uh, i think i kind of get it but i still don't get it at the same time anyways <coughs> okay nice <laughs> the face she makes. Damn. <laughs> wow, what a nice person. Well, she's the mother of everything, I guess. Day off. <laughs> um, I think she'll probably like. Last word because oh that yeah that's that's all, like that's like a way to be endearing. Uh, wait what? Oh damn! <laughs> this is born five, isn't it? Tiamat check. Oh my god, ad is coming. All right. Okay, this is the third ascension. Third? Yeah, third ascension. Okay, um... Yeah, her... Speech pattern. It, it gets kind of... I don't know. As she, as she grows closer to her original form yeah it's like you know like she's like staggering or like kind of her speech is getting broken 
ってそれだけで嬉しいのです。There you go. Wait, I, I noticed something. Her hair is entangled in her horns. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Wow, I love her design, you know, like the, the, the horn and the hair is kind of on top of the horn. Um, <coughs> Mama Raiku is probably <laughs> Kakyoin. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, Kakyoin approves. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, Mama Raiku is probably somewhere here, just you know, like, watching everything from the shadows. Okay, here's a normal phantasm. Mega Genesis. <coughs> oh my gosh. Wait, she becomes her. Yeah, this form. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> she has a muffler. <laughs> Will she have a muffler here as well? Okay, it would have been kind of funny, you know, if she had a little muffler, even in this form. Alright, AOE no phantasm. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, nice! I okay, that this this is a good decision. They actually added the her you know like singing <laughs> Jolter is like <laughs> alright <laughs> oh my god yeah she's, she's so adorable oh this is her I guess when you log in, <laughs> Alright, I guess. Mom. <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs
like it's impossible to get arcade at all outside japan so like chances are that we probably will never get those servants ever but i'm i'm happy with fgo mobile you know like all fgo mobile also has so many servants that are like so many unique servants but for tiamat i'm 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 i was especially a little bit more sad because i i i or like i'm sure a lot of people just like me we're just waiting for her, you know, like we were thinking, oh, maybe this Christmas, oh, maybe this New Year's, we're going to get Tiamat. And we were just waiting and waiting and waiting and bam, Arcade releases her and everything just like, you know, crashes down. We realize like, yeah, we aren't getting her. Like, that's why, like, that's why, especially Tiamat, like, you know, for Tiamat, I'm, 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 I and like a lot of people I'm sure about it are especially sad because, you know, like we've, like people who have who are actually playing this from the start you know starting days like we we waited for like three and a half years or something like that to realize that yeah we aren't getting her <laughs> but yeah enough about the sad stuff uh <clears throat> i'm happy about like you know like um, actually her having like a servant like you know in a servant form and seeing her like you know interactions and everything her my room lines and all that stuff like you know even if we can't like you know get her we can at least watch the videos <laughs> that people make on her like i'm i'm i can i'm kind of content with that so yeah okay one thing i kind of saw this video and i was like so the different ascension arts like you know she was like in her i think in her larva form that's what it's called then she kind of gets like a muffler edition and then she becomes big so i'm guessing she's going and she herself says she's kind of going closer to her original form so is that the reason why her uh, speech pattern kind of gets like you know broken and like the the first ascension art she speaks speaks so fluently and she does like emotions within her and everything she's smiling just like you know kind of like joking as well a little bit and then as she ascends like she kind of becomes depressed i feel like that and her speech patterns get kind of broken down is that why you know because she became it's going closer to her original form is that why that happens let me know because i i feel like that's the reason and you know what if that really is the case i kind of feel sad like for people who are ascending her and like you know seeing so basically as as we upgrade her she she becomes more like like that type of a, like you know like her unable to actually speak properly and you know like as she goes closer to her original form it's kind of sad in a way isn't it like you know like you upgrade her she's like you know getting stronger but at the same time it feels like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like i'm i was very like you know surprised actually seeing her like you know like so happy and then her suddenly getting depressed and then like she's unable to talk properly kind of broken speech patterns i'm like what the hell is happening like <laughs> like all the time ascension means like you know like all the servants get happier they're like oh i'm getting stronger yes thank you so much master and uh, like you know in the ending ascension uh she kind of says that i'm happy and i'm sad as well at the same time or like you know that that way she's talking and like her speech is a little bit shaky like i don't know how to feel about that isn't it <laughs> oh god so I, I i guess her like you know whole existence is kind of like that like as she said i'm happy and i'm sad at the same time so basically you're happy like we're ascending her but she's kind of getting closer to her original form and yeah i don't know like you know i might be wrong though you know like this is just what i thought like that's like you know like if i'm wrong correct me down like you know because i think like that's basically what was happening as she's getting ascended so and that's why she her speech pattern kind of became like that uh, because her first ascension art, she's so happy and like, you know, cheerful, just <laughs> kind of twirling around and everything. And then she gets depressed. Oh boy. Okay, uh, one thing. Uh, just a sec. <clears throat> I'm trying to check out who is her voice actor. Uh, let me see. Uh, voice actor. Aoyuki. Oh, wait, really? Just a sec. Uh, let me just double check. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Okay, that's why I was thinking, like, I have heard her voice. 
She's okay. This is Aoi Yuki. I, I, I okay. I'm obviously, I'm sure a lot of people recognize Aoi Yuki. She basically, she is, um, like you know, Tanya from Tanya, uh, like you know, the saga of Tanya the uh, Evil. I think that's what it is. And, um, Kumoko from, um, uh, Kum uh, Kumo Desu Kananika. What was that? I'm a spider, so what? That one. So yeah, like those two are like her, like, and I think she's also mommy from Rent a Girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, Tamaki from Fire Force. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamaki from Fire Force. I remember. And uh, okay, yeah, like these, these are like her main, like the what do you call it? Oh, and I think there's like there was like another um, show I forgot. This is like a show with a witch, a white-haired witch. I forgot the name of the show. You know, she was also the main character in that show. Oh, wait a minute. What was the name? uh that that was another great anime I, I liked it very much i don't know what I, I can't remember what its name is for now but let me see uh okay i cannot find it now but i feel like i, feel, I think she also had the same voice actor uh, i might uh sorry i might be wrong though i, I don't remember properly Oh no no sorry I was wrong um I was telling I, I was uh, mentioning the wrong show uh it was not that show it was not that one um I was I'm actually I was actually talking about the one with slimes like you know I've been killing slimes for 300 years I think that's what the name was yeah 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 I was talking about that show yeah that show had it, her main character with her voice as well so yeah I, I I know quite a few characters who actually voice act her so yeah okay now now I can you know pinpoint it so yeah anyways i went on a tangent but okay so yeah that was tiamat and uh, as i said i still have a little hope just like jacks de molay had like you know uh, a different character in mobile you know like they kind of gender bent him uh, i doubt they're going to gender bent tiamat because she's basically the mother of everything so i doubt they're going to gender bent her to a male i don't think they're going to do that but um they'll probably i don't know maybe change her uh you know appearance a little bit or like you know change our class maybe and i that's why i'm saying like this is wishful thinking but i still have a little bit of hope maybe in the future someday they will introduce tiamat in a completely new form just like they did with Jax demole in mobile but i'm um, like that's just like you know like 10 percent hope within me and I'm, I'm not hoping for it that much because i i doubt they're going to bring tiamat in mobile i don't know we'll see <clears throat> if the if the story kind of goes in that direction maybe we'll see a tiamat again but yeah anyways um that was my reaction to tiamat and her noble phantasm her noble phantasm was also nice because she kind of drives down and kind of, and i i like the fact that her final no essential noble phantasm she kind of does that singing la you know <laughs> kind of shouts <laughs> no, that was nice so yeah that was it yeah i like her um obviously i liked her from the beginning but yeah <laughs> after watching this i even like her even more okay so that was tiamat now i'm going to react to um b6 draco queen mother harlot noble phantasm only and that's why i'm saying like i, I tried to find her my room lines it, it's not on youtube so i think she's probably a boss only character at least for now in arcade let me know if i'm wrong let me know if she's actually a playable servant or not i don't think she is but anyways let's react to a noble phantasm uh, uh again as, as i said the links to the original description uh, to the original video will be in the description box all right guys sorry about that cut uh, i was actually reacting to a wrong video so yeah okay now i think i have the my right the right video okay this is mother harlot's noble phantasm B6, um, yeah, so let's start. Here we go. Oh, wow. Wait, what is this? Ah, there she is. Oh, she has like a little chalice. Obviously, that's Nero's voice actress. I think. Her name is Sakura Tange, isn't it? Yeah, I know her. Like, obviously, Nero is like one of my most favorite voice actors. Like, um, I I'm talking about the voice actors of Nero is one of my most favorites. Yeah, same voice actress. 
Wow. So she's like a dragon. Kind of like the Holy Grail, isn't it? Like the black mud. Whoa, what are those? It's like dragons? Oh, damn. <laughs> Tail kind of. Whoa. Okay, that's it. Uh, wow. All right. So yeah, that was Mother Harlot. Now, as I said, like you know, I'm very familiar with her voice actress. Uh, her name is Sakura Tange. Uh, she did like you know she she has she she is the voice actress of Nero and Jack the Ripper. Uh, and there are a few other characters that she did as well. I remember, I think uh, Madoka is, uh, no, not Madoka, what am I saying? Um, Sakura from Card Captor Sakura is voice acted by her. And I think there are a few others as well. Uh, but these are like her most prominent roles. And let me check Sakura Tange. Um, like she was like one, like she, she was one of my most favorite voice actresses. Like I love Nero's voice so much. You know, like she's one of my most favorites so and that's why i remember her name i know i know her name and okay there you go sakura from Sa card captain sakura um who else uh wait i cannot find them uh, let me check oh she did quite a f not that many um voice acting oh fitoria yeah fitoria fr from shield hero she, she was fitoria's voice actress i remember now uh, Cardinal from Sword Art Online Alicization, there you go. Yeah, I can remember all of this. Jack the Ripper, as I said. Uh, and yeah, these are like the main, uh, you know, main prominent, uh, like, you know, most known characters that she voice acted. So yeah, she, as I said, she, she, she did not much voice acting, but she, her voice is so, what can I say, memorable, you know? And I don't know like how she, how, like her voice has like this, un this unusual charm like uh, as I said Nero's voice actress was one of my favorite voice actresses so yeah I know her name so yeah anyways um so yeah that was uh <clears throat> Mother Harlot's uh, Noble Phantasm and as I said I think she is not a playable servant if I'm wrong let me know and uh, maybe in the future they'll get her in as a character as a playable character in FG Arcade obviously <laughs> and uh yeah so okay um a few things i kind of noticed number one she, she looks like a dragon i don't know if that's like somehow related to a lore or something and there's like a chalice or a, like a grail in her hand from where like black mud mud comes out and uh yeah and there's like these dragons kind of like you know just shooting beams at the enemy now one thing i do know mother harlot I think they kind of mentioned her as well in FGO before. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, she's called the Whore of Babylon, isn't isn't she? I think so. I I do remember in one of uh one of the events. I don't know which one it is, but Nero kind of like you know, mentioned her or something. And uh, so why is does she look like Nero? Uh, oh wait um. I I feel like I've heard that I don't know. Like, I'm kind of a little bit confused. Why does she look like Nero? Is she like, like a, I don't know, like a, like a alter ego of Nero or something like that? Because I do know, obviously, like Nero Claudius was uh, a character who did a lot of bad, you know, in her days, in his days, sorry, like, my God, like playing Evgio kind of <laughs> messes with things, you know, like, I, <laughs> I'm calling Nero Claudius a her because she, like, you know, she's a female in Evgio. Um, in his days, you know, there was, I, I think, uh, like, you know, like, um, she did, again, he, he did a lot of things, like, you know, which uh, kind of, like, was bad or something. I'm not sure, you know, like, if I'm wrong, correct me. And this, Nero kind of told or, like, you know, kind of said all of these things uh, in one of her, her events or her quests or interlude. I don't know which it is, but she kind of, like, you know, kind of mentioned this. And she said, oh, um, I think it was in Fate X, uh, uh, not Extra, sorry, Fate, uh, yeah, Extra Encore, like, you know, that thing where she kind of said that 
um, yeah, like I'm not happy with my decisions that I made when I was alive and I'm sad now. I, I'm kind of repenting for it. All that stuff she kind of said. Uh, I'm not the most proud of my uh, like you know actions when I was alive. So is that why is this like is this mother or not like, like is that like an alter ego of her or something? Let me know. Like I'm I'm I don't care about spoilers. You know at, at least for arcade because you know like I'm, I'm, we are never getting arcade. So like why why even like like you know like just save myself from spoilers because we are never getting it. So like no need to hold back. You can spoil me about F FGO arcade. So let me let me know. If she is she like an alter ego of um, Nero, or is, is is she somehow related to Nero or something like that? Because she she definitely looks completely like Nero. Her voice her voice is Nero's voice actress. Same. So I'm guessing there is a connection. And yeah, and and I do remember like you know they they called I think Nero herself said something like I was called the whore of Babylon or something like that like that's why like you know like obviously mother harlot is also called that's the same thing so i'm sure there is a connection so anyways and like um, like here's the thing i actually um i actually search mother harlot in uh, google and i find uh, uh shin megami tensei's like you know um page like this there is also a wikipedia article i can see that like I do know that she's like a character, no, not a character, but like a, a part of the game, um, a, a persona, you know, like Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, so I do know that. But okay, here you go. Whore of Babylon, Babylon the Great, commonly known as the Whore of Babylon, refers to both symbolic, oh, symbolic female figure and place of evil mentioned in the Book of Revelation in the Bible. Oh, her full title is stated in Revelation 17 verse 5 as mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and abominations of earth. Oh, so she's like a symbolic character. Okay, 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 I understand now. That's why she does not have like a proper, uh, you know, like article. Like I am really unable to find any proper article with her. So she's like a concept or something like that, I guess. So it's kind of interesting. So yeah, anyways, let me know. Like, you know, like I'm quite curious about her. So yeah, that was it. Like, like yeah, I love, I love her. Like, I, I, as I said, like I love Nero as a character in FGO and her voice actress as well. So obviously, I'm going to like Mother Harlot as well. And I'm sure they're in arcade. They're eventually going to introduce her in the future. So yeah, <laughs> but we mobile players will probably not get her as well. So yeah, nothing you can do about it. So yeah, that was it, guys. Um, that was my reaction to two of the new servants. Uh, or like one new servant and one new boss of FGO. Now I do know um, Grand Rider in Arcade is probably also going to get introduced and I think Grand Rider is Noah, isn't it? I, as I said, like you know, I, I got sp uh, spoiled about uh, uh, like, you know, Arcade and I don't like, you know, care about getting spoiled in Arcade. Like don't spoil me in mobile, but you can spoil me in Arcade. I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think like this is like a thing with Noah as well, and uh, a few other things like you know Gilgamesh gets like a new skin, a new costume, all that stuff is happening in arcade. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that was it. That was uh, my reaction to two of the new serv, uh, one's new servant and one uh, boss, I think. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say and all the questions that i ask if you can answer those questions please let me know in the comment sections and uh, yeah so okay and i put out fgo videos like this like you know once or tw twice a week um whenever there's like a new gameplay event or something i do those as well i do plan on making a valentine's event gameplay i want to do that on my video uh, sorry on my channel and uh, you know, uh, if you want to check it out, be sure to check it out when I you know upload those. And I think like it's like uh, the Valentine's event is going to start from I think like second or third of February. I think it's something like that. I don't remember, but it's going to start very soon. Or is it the first of February? I don't remember. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to do the gameplays uh, at that time. So yeah, so that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next MGO video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.